What it is, ho? A oh, what's up? How is your show and you getting pumped? Girl! <laughs> Melanie Fox come in here, talk to anybody how she wants to, and don't nobody bat an eye or say nothing. Sav, Ferrari, both of y'all got punked. So let's just go ahead and get into it. What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another Young and Reckless recap episode two, and then I'm all caught up, and I got y'all every single episode after this. All right, on time. I'm not going to waste any more of your time today. Let's just go ahead and get into the review. Okay, so in episode one, of course, that episode ended with Nug. Is it Nug or Nug? Somebody, please. <laughs> I've been saying Nug. The girls on the show are saying Nug. Girl, I'm going to just keep saying Nug, girl. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, my girl Nug. Nug, girl. Okay, so she, you know, she tearing um, Canadian Barbie out the frame. It is what it is. I said what I said. She tore her up. Me personally, I'm not going to say that Canadian Barbie deserved it necessarily, but I wasn't mad at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wasn't mad that she got tore out the frame because she talked too much. Okay. She talked too much. And I just, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I wasn't mad at Nug, nor was I mad at Sav for, you know, for doing what they did. But, you know, of course, this episode, episode two, opens up with Nug versus, I hope I'm saying her name right, with Nug versus Canadian Barbie. Okay. And like I said, Canadian Barbie is getting turned everywhere but lose, getting walked down girl just just getting just getting just getting tore up okay she getting tore out the frame um every single round every round okay so they go two rounds like i said girl <laughs> they were talking and you know um canadian barbie because she keeps asking like why like why do we why do we need to fight like why would you go across my mouth for what for what for what you can't even tell me the reason why da 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 so you know she thinks she's doing something she thinks she's doing something she thinks she's making a point what she is you know you know, a little bit. I No, actually, no, I, I don't think so. I think that um, me personally, I feel like Nug should have been went across your mouth. But, you know, okay. She feel like she's making a point. She feel like she eating the girls up. So then she ends her sentence and she's like, next. Oh. <laughs> Canadian Barbie girl, you got to watch who you talking to. You know what I'm saying? Because some girls, they're not with, they're not, you, like, you know how like, and, and this is why I say when I feel like I say, Nug should have, Nug should have, is it Nug or Nug? Hold on one second. I think it's Nug. I'm going to say Nug. Okay. I feel like, okay, so y'all know like when you're, you're into it with somebody, right? And you're arguing with them and then you try to be the bigger person and like walk away and then they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah. Or they'll be like, oh, that's what I thought. Or like, they'll be like, you know, like they'll say something like that'll just like make you side eye them and turn around. And it's like now... I'm going to give you what you want because I tried to let it go. <laughs> I tried to let it go and you keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, because there was no, like, wh what you say next for? Like, the conversation was already done. Like, who are you? Like, you, you don't get to determine nothing. So now she went across your mouth. Not only that, but she, she, girl, she, I, I like I said, I, I ain't never seen no whole reach into her purse and, and grab macaroni and cheese from from chick-fil-a and smack fire out of some somebody with mac and cheese i ain't never seen it. girl like i said girl after she said next it was over she grabbed the mac and cheese out her purse girl went across the face with a girl they got down me personally if i was the twins like i said i not only like nug nug i like the twins as well if i was the twins nug nug would have turned into a nugget okay nugget her name would have been Nuggets, girl. Cause, 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 cause ain't no way you missed your target like that. <laughs> and you caught her off guard. So you should have got her. And I think she, it looked like she hit her with the mac and cheese, but the mac and cheese somehow didn't go on her. You know what I'm saying? Because none of the mac and cheese went on Canadian Barbie. How did you miss your target? No shade. If I was the twins, I would have wanted to get down. Okay. Most definitely, because I, you, there's no way yo, yo mac and cheese that's been sitting in your purse for God knows how long. They're in Miami. It's hot. So it's, it's probably stale, crusty, dry, whatever. Like I said, they're in Miami. It's real hot. Okay. And you done drenched me in your old leftover mac and cheese. Hey, you go, I need that. Mm-hmm. Come up off that. I need that. <laughs> Run me my face. 
<laughs> because what? They were a little too calm for me. Like it wouldn't even have been like a like a I'm sorry nothing in that moment. Probably afterwards if we would have talked about it. But in that moment, I would literally would have seen red. Like there's no way. I had nothing to do with this conversation and I am drenched in macaroni and cheese. But at the same time, Ferrari kind of clocked them a little bit because y'all were definitely instigating this fight. Y'all wanted this fight to happen. It happened. Y'all ended up drenched in macaroni and cheese because of it. Y'all wanted to be messy. Now y'all are literally a mess. <laughs> so it's like, it's like karma at the same time, but I don't care about none of that. I still messy, whether I was being messy or not. Or instigating the situation or not. Or trying to add fuel to the fire and try to get them. I don't care what I did. If I was not your target and I ended up drenched in macaroni and cheese that's been sitting in your purse. We're going to have an issue. It wouldn't even have been a I'm sorry nothing. Like you. I, I, I need that from you now. You you got the wrong person. Because <laughs> now I'm mad. So anyways, um, Ferrari is basically, you know, I do like how, for, for, I'm not going to lie, Ferrari, I've been, hmm. It's like I want to give her the benefit of the doubt, but it's like she, I'm going to get into it. Okay, so in this specific moment, I do like how Ferrari is a little bit more outspoken. Well, not a little bit. I feel like she's a lot more outspoken. I feel like last season, she really tried to fit in with the girls. She tried to be their friends. She tried to be super cool with them, but I feel like this season, she's separating herself as the host, and I really do like that. Because I feel like that's what the host should do. You're the host for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, at, at technically, you're not on their level. They're not on yours. So stop, you know, going down to their level and trying to be cool with them. And this, that, and the third. And you know, you just, you know, yeah. So I feel like she's establishing herself more as a host this season. Of course, until we get to the, towards the end of the episode when Mel comes. But we're going to talk about that. But in this specific moment, I felt like she did good. She basically told Nug nug to her face <laughs> she told nug to her face like listen okay you y'all gotta run y'all she might pretty much say like do you want to run that back y'all you you low-key gotta run that back because you you know what i'm saying like you and like i said i like nug and i feel like i'm not mad at her for going across canadian barbie's face i'm not mad at it but at the same time you know if 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 Fair fighting is a, a, you know, if that's a rule in the house, which it is, you got to, if you want to call it your fate, call it your fate. Don't sneak, don't rush. Don't do none of that weak stuff. Okay. That's what Ferrari wants for her house. So I feel like if that's a rule in her house, she should make the girl stand on those rules. And that's exactly what she did. She, she had them run it back. Okay. Without no rushing, without none of that. So, okay. She told her straight up, like you got her when she was sitting down, which is not true technically because by the time, well, she still rushed her, but, you know, Canadian Barbie was pretty quick on her feet. But still, I understand what Ferrari was trying to say. Like, you rushed her, da 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 Y'all can go ahead and run that back. Do you want to run that back? She kept asking her, but do you want to run it back? But do you want to run it back? Like, so, you know, Nug say, bring her out the room. Yeah. So they ran it back and Nug, you know, <laughs> Nug tore her out the frame again. Literally knocking the Mario coins out of her head. Like, I literally cannot make this up. Like, doink, doink, doink. Like, it was bad. Like, she was, and I'm talking about after the fight, left the fight looking untouched. Pretty, sat pretty. You can't even tell that she had just gotten into it with somebody. Tore, tore that girl off the frame. I ain't mad at it, girl. She, I feel like Canadian Barbie talked too much. I said what I said. I said what I said. And then y'all could really dish the narrative that they're acting like this towards her because she's Canadian because I don't know where y'all got that from and I hate that she even said it on the show because now y'all taking it and y'all running with it when they had they didn't say anything about her like y'all just get on my nerves okay so after all that and the girls are sitting down again Ferrari is basically telling them the rules no sneaking you know no, no, no. you want to call it a fade call it a fade you know you got to stay on business and that girl this that, and pretty much you know if, if you got something to say say girl stuff like that okay Pretty much like no, no weird, lame stuff going on. Don't have none of that in my house. Girl, when I tell y'all baby Tyson, sit, <laughs> baby, T I love baby Tyson. Baby Tyson sitting there, she like, girl, she said, I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> she said, I'm going to do what I want to do. Like, I don't know. Like th this show is called Young and Reckless and y'all out here, we all here uh, reciting the Ten Commandments. Girl, no, I'm going to do what I want to do. Okay. Is 
girl i don't know i wish she would have said it out loud i ain't gonna lie if she would have said that out loud that would have been tea y'all be popping it in these confessionals and i like i said clearly we all know baby tate baby tate <laughs> baby tyson can get down child so i'm not saying she's scary but if she would have said that out loud that would have been tea if she like i'm talking about ferrari mid talk about the rules right and baby tyson like yeah i'm gonna do what i want to do this is your show is called young and reckless why are we why are you out here reciting rules for us like we're in grade school or something like we're in a third grade class like we're in middle school. You're sitting here. You're the teacher telling us some rules. Girl, I'm grown for one. And for two, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. It's called Young and Reckless. It's not called that for no reason. Like if she would have said that out loud, that would have been tea. I don't know. It been tea. I'm just saying. Anyways, so yeah. So they end up going to their rooms. All of their rooms are already assigned. Okay. And then we get to, because it's it's not tea up in this until this point. Okay. Now... Baby Tyson, I like her, okay? Because she say what she she say what's on her mind, all right? So she basically said, so she ended up in a room with Renee Trill. I think her name was Renee Trill. So Renee Trill, I said last episode that I did like her, but I just didn't like the slick comments that she was making about Nug because it's like, why are you sitting here saying that she gives training and she looked like a man? Why are you saying that? That's weird. Especially with how strong your face is, girl. You, girl, them, them, girl. Like, I don't even want to get on her because I like her, but I'm just saying, girl. You, girl, you over here looking like you and your friend that came into the house, looking like handsome Squidward and y'all and, and all that strong face, girl. Boo, girl can't barely move your lips, but you talking about somebody else look like a man, girl. I'm not gonna play with you, girl. Okay chow pounds of makeup on but feel girl, never mind you know what i like her so i'm not even gonna do too much not too much on her i'm not just saying though like i feel like renee trill got so much to say about everybody else and i feel like she thinks she above everybody else and i'm just not rocking with that like she seems so cool the first episode but the more and more i see her especially when she got around her friend i forgot what her friend name even was but they got it. She, her friend came into the house. They got around each other. And I was just like, ooh, like, mm mm. Mm mm. Yeah, she's one of them. She thinks she, she thinks uh, she, you know, they, they were saying it. We're the it girls. Okay, so let's just get into it. So, you know, they get into the rooms. They find their rooms. It don't get, it's not tea until Baby Tyson and Renee Trill get in the room together. And Baby Tyson is irritated because they're roommates. But, Renee Trill was trying to figure out why and baby Tyson's like because you were just saying downstairs you were pretty much talking ish downstairs about the whole roommate situation right oh girl I wasn't talking about you I wasn't talking about you but she got in her confessionals talking about oh I said what I said I feel like the it girls should be on one part of the house and the it girls should room together and I feel like the basic girls should be in their own little yeah because they shouldn't be with us like pretty much like you can't sit with us type ish but when you got confronted and I knew you were talking no shade to baby Tyson I love me some baby Tyson. I think she's so pretty. I feel like she put it on in her confessionals and in the intro. But when she came into the house, she came into the house with a blue jumpsuit and some pink Crocs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, that's all I'm saying. So it's like, girl, I, I know when you meant, when you said basic, you was talking about you, one of the girls you was talking about was baby, was baby Tyson girl. No shade. And then when she confronted you, you ain't you ain't had none of that energy, but you went back in your confessional talking about something I said what I said. So if you said what you said, why don't you stand on what you said when you got confronted about it? You ain't want no smoke. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. You ain't want no smoke. And then you still pretended like her being your roommate was okay. And you hugged her and said, no, I wasn't talking about you. And then still walked to Sav's room talking-ish. And ended up switching roommates with Sav because you feel like you and Sav belong together because you guys are it girls. Y'all, she 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 fake. She fake. I'm starting to peep that about her because like I said in the last episode, right? When she was talking to old girl Nug, she was real friendly with Nug. You know, they was touching on each other, being friendly, calling each other pretty. But in the confessionals, you calling her a man. You, you know what I'm saying? Girl, you, uh-uh, Renee Trilger, I liked you. But you, I'm starting to realize, girl, you look two-faced, girl. 
girl. Mm-mm. You pop it behind, girl. Mm-mm. I'm starting to realize that now. You a little two-faced child. Anywho, so more girls start coming. Kai comes. Like I said, Renee Trail's friend come. I'm excited to see Kai. I'm not going to lie. I feel like Kai has so much personality. Kai is so funny. Kai can get down. Kai is so beautiful. I honestly, I don't have no complaints about Kai. I'm really excited to see her back. I'm so happy that she's back. No shade. I really am. <laughs> I am. So Mel ends up pulling up to the house. And me personally, I, uh, I, <laughs> I'm so geeked and I'm so excited to see Mel back on my screen, which is crazy because... Okay, so last season, I really did like Mel up until the whole KP and Ferragamo situation where she was tweaking off of shrooms. Okay, they don't clearly don't call her big shroom for no reason. Okay, tweaking off the shrooms and basically just running through everybody in the house. And I'm like, she she's crazy. But over time, I think it was the reunion or maybe it was the night that she went home. Because I remember when her and Ivory initially fought when Ivory was sticking up for the other girls when, you know, Melanie was doing what she was doing. I wasn't mad at Ivory for doing what she did to Mel. But I think it was when Mel went home when I was like, okay, dang, she not that, you know what I'm saying? Like, she not that bad. Once she, once after all that, when she kind of like humbled herself a little bit and she got real calm, I feel like that's when I started to like her again. And then she got into it with Ivory again right after she left. I mean, right before she left. And then she came to the reunion. Like, yeah, around that time is when I started to like her again. But I'm so excited to see her back. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited to see her back. Anywho, so, okay, so Mel pulls up. She gets out. Um, Okay, so they're having a little seafood boil. You know, everybody basically clears that spot. Mel sits at the table. And Ferrari immediately is, you know, basically confronting Mel like, like, what's up? What is your issue with me? Mel is telling her, you literally instigated the situation between me and KP. You told me to pop off on KP because KP was running her mouth. Did you not? Oh, okay. Yeah, you did. But then when I did what I did, you tried to act surprised and try to say that I was cracked out. Oh, okay. For Robert's like, girl, I never said that you were... <laughs> I never called you a crackhead. She said, I never called you a crackhead. I wasn't one of the girls that did that. We all know at this point that it was Kai and Sav who did it. Sav ends up coming out, okay? Well, first of all, me personally, I don't understand how you're a host and you, st you keep getting punked on your own show, okay? I don't understand how... And like I said, I know earlier I said that I'm proud of Ferrari because I feel like she's doing a little bit better as far as like separating herself from the girls and not like... You know, instead of like being a host and the boss, technically, she's, you know, she, you know, she's not trying to like be their friend and stuff like that. Like she, you know, she's standing on bit like, you know, stuff like that. But and she's a lot more outspoken this season instead of just trying to like be cool and, you know, hang out with them and be on them. I feel like she doubling back now because now that you're being put in situations, you're still getting punked on your own show and then I'm sitting here thinking how are you the host when more than half of your cast if you was to get into it with them if you was to they're walking you down like I don't understand that I feel like the host should be able to like I'm just saying like the host don't got to be like the best squabbler but I'm just saying like literally I cannot I'm looking at the cast and I literally cannot see anybody that Ferrari is going to dog walk I can't Half of your cast can walk you down. That's insane. Not only that, but because half of them can walk you down, you're letting them talk to you crazy. Now that now, Melanie Fox wasn't talking to Ferrari super crazy, but was definitely like the leader in the conversation. Like she she carried the conversation. It should, if you're the host, it should never be like that. She's your cast member at the end of the day. That's crazy. That's crazy. Anyways, so they basically established that there's no issue between them. Mel Fox, you could tell that Ferrari is like, you know, like, I want to get to know you. I want to get to know the real you. Like, you know, like, I did, we didn't get to be friends or any. Like, Ferrari was on that type of timing. Melanie Fox was on, was not on none of that. Like, she was like, we don't got to be friends. We don't got to be cool. We don't got to be friends. We could be cordial. It's whatever. So that was that. Um, clearly, Ferrari still has issues with Legacy. I cannot wait to see Legacy. 
And then Sapdoll comes into the kitchen. Okay, she comes into the kitchen and Mel is immediately like, I, you, I want you. I want my lip back on you. And I'm and I'm thinking like, because Sab is in her confessionals and in front of the girls saying like, you know, if anybody want to fade, like we can just go ahead and get that over with. I'm not doing that this season because I don't want to like, you know, hold any bad blood. And then once we get to the reunion, I can't even be cute at the reunion because I still got beef. If anybody has beef, if anybody want to run a fade with me, just let me know and we could we could do that. Mel sat in your face and told you that she wanted to slap. Mm. She sat in your face and told you that she wanted to come across your face and get her lick back. And you literally didn't do anything. But like now you're so that's what I don't like. Like if you're going to get on the show and I like Sav, but I just don't understand. Like if you're going to get back on the show and you're going to basically you know, you, you want to be different. Like, you know, I'm not a confessional gangster, but I'm not going to play that. You're not going to play with me this season. I can be the pretty girl, but I'm going to still get down if need be. She literally looked you in your face and told you she was going to come across your face. And she wanted to come across your face. And that she don't like you. And she wants to get your lip. And you did you sat there like a child and didn't do or say anything to that. You're a punk. Every, I, I guess everybody tough until Mel Fox coming to the building. Because I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This this is not she you you literally you literally and I like I said I wasn't mad at it, but I just expect the same energy to be carried out with everybody. You literally came across Canadian Barbie's face in the sprinter because she was talking to you. She was running her mouth. Like I said, I ain't mad at it. You did what you did. She was running her mouth, she got what she got, okay? But Mel is doing the same thing, but Mel is actually talking to you crazy. And you're not doing anything. That's insane to me. You, I think, me personally, I feel like Sav is, Sav Doll's on the wrong show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like she's on the wrong show. So they end up on the Sprinter to go to an activity. And on the Sprinter, Mel is coming all out the side of her neck, throwing shade, girl, gagging Ferrari. Ferrari is not doing anything. <laughs> Ferrari is not doing anything about it. I'm talking about eating her up, girl. So... Her song ends up coming up on um, Melanie Fox's phone. Melanie Fox is like, oh, turn this off. I'm tired of hearing it. I, I, girl, I don't even know you like that. I don't even know this. Who is this? Ugh. Like, girl, just like I said, just literally playing in Ferrari's face. Then Ferrari tried to be cute. She like, Ferrari ho. She talking about, and then <laughs> Melanie Fox said, legacy ho. <laughs> she, like, nobody is doing that to me on my on my own show. Like, if I'm the face of the show and I'm the host of a show, nobody is doing that to me. That's why they need somebody else as a host. Because I promise you, if somebody else was the host, they would have they would have came across that sprinter on Melanie Fox. Okay. And I, I I'm not gonna lie, I love Melanie Fox for it because it's like, yes, girl, because what? And like, how do you expect the girls to take you serious and you pick and choose who you wanna girl? <laughs> I guarantee you, if it was Legacy who would have said that, Ferrari would have came across that sprinter and tried to fight her. I'm telling you, you cannot be a host and be picky choosy. It's weird. The girls are not going to take you serious. You sat there and you got punked on your own show in front of everybody on the sprinter. How sad. Girl, bye. Okay. But got the nerves, to get the, but got the nerves, the golly, to give the girls house rules. Talk about staying on business and don't be this and don't be that and do this and do that. Girl, you don't even do it. Girl. So the girls get to the place and they're basically going to be, you know, like, it's like a little boxing thing. Okay. So the girls get there, they're, you know, they're practicing this, that, and the third girl. Sad dog goes up there, girl. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, girl. Please get this girl off the show. No shade, girl. Put this girl in America's Next Top Model or something. Put her, in, put her on another show. She don't need to be on the show. I don't even think she needs to be on Not As TV. So blah, blah, blah. Yeah, skip all that. So they get to the point where they put the, they turned the little um, punching bags around, child, and they got the cast, they got the cast members faces, pictures on the things and Ferrari's like stand on business and get your and like, I'm just like, what is this right now? Like if they, if they were really standing on business, if they had an issue with somebody, they're not going to sit there and try to assault a picture. They're going to literally just go up to the person who's literally right next to them in that same room and just do it like. 
But okay, for all, it was still fun to watch. It reminds me of Bad Girls Club. And also, I love the Bad Girls Club theme that they have, like, with the confessionals and stuff and the fun. And I love all that. So, yeah, it just gave Bad Girls Club with them, you know, immediately getting, getting into the house, going to do something, like, not just staying in the house, stay cooped up in the house. So, let's just, okay, so, um, uh, Mel, she gets Ivory's picture, does what she does to Ivory's picture. <laughs> um who else nug takes um canadian barbie's picture and rips it up and stomps it out and i'm like okay girl you're just you're just doing a lot right now you know what i'm saying i like you but you're doing a lot <laughs> you're doing a lot um the twins exchange words with renee trill and the renee trill like goes up to one of their pictures and like like i don't know what that was i don't even want to like i feel like it's a disgrace to even call it a kick it's a it's a disgrace to even call it a Chung Lee. Like it wasn't even like it it wasn't even like uh I don't even I don't even know what it was. But it was just it, it just girl, I like, was it were they supposed to be scared like of that? Girl, chill. So they go ahead and do that, they get back on the sprinter, and then Renee Trill is getting into it with the twins. So this is what I don't understand. So Renee Trill's friend, I why don't I know that girl's name? What is that girl's name? Y'all know who I'm talking about, right? They literally look, they high key look alike. And they were talking about, they were off to the corner talking about how they were the eight girls and everybody else is this, that, and the third and all that. So the only person that Renee Trill was with other than Sad Doll, you know what I'm saying? So her friend sat there and let her get jumped, which is crazy to me. That's crazy. So anyways, the twins have an exchange of words with Renee on the bus Renee is, is just trying to figure out which I completely understand too. Girl, which one? Which one am I getting into it with? <laughs> Cause both of y'all talking, both of y'all talking at me, and I'm just trying to figure out who I'm gonna catch my one with. So one of the twins was like, "You gonna catch your one with me?" But then the other twin is right next to her, and she's like, "Well, wait, but she talking crazy." So it was like, "Well, what? you could just tell from the beginning that they were gonna try to jump her." Like, I don't know. And I'm not, I'm not one to sit here and tell twins not to jump in for each other or not to fight together because that's really how it should be. But uh, like, if the girl is literally asking y'all, who am I going to get into it with? Like, if, who, I'm just not, she's off rip. She like, I, listen, I'm just not trying to get jumped. Who am I going to be running my one with? That's all Renee was trying to figure out. The one of the twins said, you're going to run your one with me. She ended up running a two with both of y'all. Like, I don't know. I'm not with the jumping. Like, y'all can't, especially if it's barely into the fight. Like, I understand if your sister getting toe up and then it's like, okay, yeah, now I'm about to walk you down because you're walking my sister down or any of that. But it's like, it wasn't even none of that. Y'all literally both charged at her at the same time. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Both of y'all stood up at the same time. That's crazy. Well, not really because they're sisters. See, I, I'm just mixed. Like, it's like a part of me, it's wrong. And I feel like they should have ran their one, especially because Renee, from the beginning, like I said, was like, who am I going to be running my one with? But at the same time, can we really sit here and tell sisters not to jump in for each other? But at the same time, did you really have to jump in? Like, look at her. It's Renee. She don't even look like she could bust a great. No shade. It's Renee. She looked like she could barely bust a great. Why is y'all jumping? I don't get it. All right, y'all. So that is all I have for you guys today. Your girl is all caught up on Young and Reckless Reviews. And now I will be able to, you know, you know, br bring them out real, real fast with every single Sunday. Well, not every single Sunday, but, you know, when they come out every Sunday, Sunday, I will be able to, you know, be caught up and be able to do them with y'all. So I'm so happy about that because y'all have been highly requesting this show okay <laughs> y'all have no shade y'all really have been blowing me up about this show and I am so excited to get into it but it's messy Maya I am out thank you so much for 25k bye <laughs>